Hey viewers, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about pharmaceutical dosage form and various types of dosage form. So let's move on towards the topic. A dosage form is a physical form of a drug by which drug is delivered to the site of action within the body. A dosage form basically consists of two main components, a drug or an active pharmaceutical ingredient which is responsible for the desired pharmacological effect and the excipients which include binders, lubricant, sweeteners and preservatives which support the active pharmaceutical ingredient in a dosage form and provide a dosage form a proper shape. So why there is a need to develop a dosage form? Because dosage form provides safe and convenient delivery of an accurate dose of a drug. It also protects the drug from the atmospheric oxygen and moisture. A dosage form provides protection of a drug from the gastric acid after oral administration. It also masks the bitter taste of a drug substance. A dosage form also provides a rate controlled drug action in the body. Dosage forms are basically divided into various types on the basis of route of administration or on the basis of physical form. On the basis of route of administration, and dosage forms are divided into oral, parenteral, topical, transdermal, ophthalmic, otic, respiratory or inhaled, and rectal or vaginal dosage forms. And on the basis of physical forms, they are divided into solids, semi-solids, liquids, and gaseous dosage forms. So uh, we're gonna discuss about physical dosage forms in detail. Solid dosage forms are basically divided into two classes, the unit solid dosage form and bulk solid dosage form. Unit solid dosage form contain tablet, capsules, and lozenges, and bulk solid dosage form contain powder and granules. Tablets are divided into various types, which includes compressed, sugar-coated, film-coated, entirely coated, effervescent, buccal, and sublingual tablets. And capsules are divided into two main types, which are soft gelatin capsule and hard gelatin capsule. Powders are divided into various types, which includes dusting powder, topical powder, insufflated powder, and bulk or divided powder. Now we discuss about semi-solid dosage forms, which includes creams, paste, gels, ointment, and glycerogelatins. Creams are the semi-solid emulsions which may be oil in water or water in oil emulsions. Paste are the semi-solid dosage form that are applied on the skin. Gels are also semi-solid dosage form which contain gelling agents like carbomers and cellulose derivatives. Ointments are basically used for external application to the skin and mucous membrane. An important component of an ointment is an ointment base, which may be oligenous, absorption, or water soluble base. Glycerogelatin is a unique semi solid dosage form, which is a plastic mass that contains gel gelatin, glycerin, water, and medicinal substance in various proportions. Liquid dosage forms are divided into two main types, the single phase system and the biphase system. Single phase system consists of elixirs which are the alcoholic preparations that contain 10 to 12 percent of alcohol and syrups which are the concentrated aqueous preparation of sugar and sugar substitutes. And the third one is solutions. Solutions are basically the preparations that contain one or more substances dissolved in a suitable solvent. Biphasic system basically consists of two phases that are continuous phase and dispersed phase. Emulsions are basically biphasic liquid dosage forms in which both phases, the continuous and dispersed phase, are liquid. Suspensions are the biphasic solid or liquid dosage form in which dispersed phase is solid and the continuous phase is liquid. 
and the last one is liniment that are applied on the skin by the action of rubbing now let's move on towards gaseous dosage forms which includes inhalations and aerosol sprays inhalations are basically finely divided powder drug substances which may be solution or suspension of a drug and administered by the nasal or oral respiratory route for local or systemic effect special devices are used to facilitate the administration of inhalations which includes inhaler that are used in the treatment of asthma aerosol sprays are basically the pressurized dispenser which mainly contain fluorinated hydrocarbons as a propellant there are also some unique and advanced dosage forms which are called novel drug delivery system about which we're gonna discuss in the next lecture so that's all for today hope you like this video thanks for watching for more content about dosage form and pharmaceutics please like and share this video and subscribe to my channel pharmacy d